Okay, Leo, um, and the rest of fifth grade. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do the beginning part of the self-portrait because I know there's been some questioning in the last video I had to not do that. Um, I know some of you guys are very anxious about creating the oval for your face, so a like a cheat code way of doing that is going to be to take a large cup or just some sort of large circle, put it on your paper, trace lightly around, and I'm going to try and make mine a little bit darker there. Oh wait, that shows up great. Um, trace all the way around. So this is now your head, but we need to make our jawline because our heads are really more oval shaped rather than circles. So to create that um, chin, we're going to start on the side and we're just going to very lightly make a curved line that comes out and just like this. So we're just kind of adding on to the circle. And then when we're done with that, we can take our eraser and we erase that inner part. So we don't need that. All right, so now you have more of a, not a perfect oval, but you know, heads aren't perfect ovals. So next, we can start adding in our facial features. We need to kind of um, figure out placement for things. And one way to do that is by creating a line of symmetry. And that is a line that goes straight down the middle of your oval. We need to figure out where we're going to want our eyes to go. And our eyes are about halfway, uh, or about middle of our face. So I'm making that line right there. Now, our nose is going to be bet halfway between our eye line and our chin. So I'm going to make a mark right there so I know where my nose is going to go. And then our mouth is halfway between the nose and the chin. So I'll go ahead and kind of map that out. My hairline is actually going to be right here. I'm just going to very lightly pencil in where I would want my hair to begin. This is pretty important because your hairline does not start at the top of your head. Your head goes up. Um, that's why like when we have, when girls wear headbands, the headbands don't sit on your forehead, they sit further back and you can usually see some hair in front of them. Um, to make our eyes, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can, there I can zoom in a little. To make our eyes, um, we're going to take our finger, we're going to lay it on the eye line while touching the middle symmetry line, and then we're going to make a little mark. Next, we're going to make a curve line, like an upside down smile or a rainbow line. Now, truthfully, the, for me, the finger's a little bit too big. Maybe I shouldn't use my pointer finger. Maybe I should use like my, my pinky. I think my pinky's better. So now, I make that rainbow curve and your eyes are exactly one eye apart. So use your fingers to kind of make little measuring tools and then line up the edge with the edge of your eye and then make a mark over here. You might want to double check your measurements on this eye and then you come over here and figure out where your next rainbow line needs to be. Try to make them about the same, but we know that that can be hard. So if you draw lightly, you can erase, and that will make this so much easier. Now, after we've drawn these top rainbow lines, we need to do smile lines underneath. Just like that. Now, this is starting to look a little creepy, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep working on it. The next thing we want to add is the pupil. Or I'm not, I'm not, ugh. Not the pupil, we want to add the iris. The iris is the colored part of your eye. So normally we're going to think about that being a circle, but if we just make a circle on the inside, that makes us look super creepy. So when you actually look at your eyes in the mirror, like look at yourself, you don't see the top of that circle, that color circle, or the, or really the bottom, because your eyelids are covering it up part of the way. So 
I'm just going to make a line that curves from the top lid down towards the bottom and then the same thing on the opposite side. My eyes are pretty big right here, probably bigger than I want them to be, but you can always adjust the size if you feel like you've made them too big. Now, now I need to add the pupil, which is the black circle in your eye that allows light in or out. Or I'm sorry, not out. It allows light in to help you see. Um, so right now, I'm looking a little crazy, but we're going to be able to make it look a lot less crazy in just a moment. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add, we can add a little bit of a lid over these if you feel like your eyes are too crazy, if they're too wide. We can erase that. Ooh, I'm liking this better. I'm glad I went back and made this adjustment. Um, the next thing we're going to add is going to be eyebrows. So eyebrows are right above your eye and they are typically curve lines that follow the curve of your eye. You can leave them as simple as, as just a curve line above your eye, but we know that they are more than just a line. They've got a little bit of a thickness to them. So I'm going to make a vertical line that goes straight up and then I'm going to have that line start curving back following the bottom line that I made and connecting at the bottom. So over here, vertical line, curve line that connects with the end. So there I've got a little bit more um, volume, a little, they're a little bit thicker. Um, you can add eyelashes if you want. Eyelashes kind of curve out and they go all the way around, but you can do just a little bit on the side. You can even add some at the bottom if you want. Um, next, we're going to move on to the nose. So let me make sure I've got that lined up right. Now, for your nose, you can do something very simple. You could just do a little curve and call it good. If you're wanting something a little more complex, if you want to try and challenge yourself, um, you could start above the or in between the eyes just above that middle line make a line that curves it starts to curve in then curves out and then it can curve back to the opposite side and then finish it off with just a little c your, it's completely your comfort level though so if you want to try this that's awesome if you just want to do a little smile line for your nose, that's that works as well. The next thing we're gonna work on is the mouth. Remember the mouth is halfway between the bottom of the nose and the chin. This is actually where, mine is, my mouth is just a little bit higher than this, so I'm gonna make an adjustment. This is where your lips meet, just to kind of give you a reference. This isn't the top of the top lip or bottom of the bottom lip. This is where your lips meet. So for me, what I'm gonna do is first, I'm going to make a little tiny curve line right above my mark. That's what we call a Cupid's bow. A Cupid's bow is that just that little dip part. Some people it's very, it's a big dip. Some people it's not as, uh, it's shallow. It's not as, as deep. And then from here, I'm going to go back to that middle line and I'm going to make just a slight curve. Now you might want to leave your mouth just like this and call it good. And that's okay. Um, if you want to change it up a little bit, you can. That's up to you. If you want to make your mouth open, you can do that. And I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But start out with this, then connect the corners to the top where your little Cupid's bow is. To make your bottom lip, if you want to just have your mouth be closed, all you have to do is make a curve line. If you want your mouth to be open, if you want to show that little bit about your personality, then what you probably want to do is maybe make that line, but not as deep. And we'll say this is the inside of your mouth. I'm just going to kind of shade it so you can see the difference. And then make another line that curves down from the corners, just like that. Next, we want to do our ears. Your, the tops of your ears line up with your eyes. 
on the side of your head. So you want to start out with a little curve and then they actually go down to right about where your nose is. And it's just a very thin curve. Nothing too crazy. Um, our ears don't look like the letter C attached to the side of our head. We don't want to see something that looks like that. Okay. Because that's not what our ears look like. Now I'm going to widen the shot just a little bit more. We need to add a neck. And our neck actually starts at our ears and curves inward. Now it doesn't curve in too close because then otherwise you're going to look like you're... You've got a watermelon head being held up by a toothpick. So I'm going to start here at the ear, at the base of the ear. I'm going to curve in and then just kind of straighten it out. Same thing over here, curving in, straightening it out. And you can always adjust it by erasing parts. Now you're probably looking at this and thinking, uh, this looks bananas this looks crazy I know it looks a little weird right now um, let's go ahead and add a collar for our shirt we want to make the collar a curve line because then that gives our neck form it makes it look realistic and not just like a flat shape shoulders go out towards the edge of your paper now for things like hair you want to think of your hair as a shape you don't want to think of it as individual lines because if you have to draw all of those individual lines, you will drive yourself crazy. Now I've got my hairline here. Say um, I've drawn my hair as like a curly shape. Um, so this time I think I'm just going to draw my hair in a ponytail because I know a lot of times we wear ponytails or we wear the girls wear the big bows. Um, so this is where my hairline is. And I'm going to make a line that curves just above the top of my head and then well, I mean I like to wear my hair in a bun more than I wear it in a ponytail so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna make just kind of a rectangle shape at the top that's my hair tie and then my bun I'm just gonna make a curve shape on top of that all right, so I can go back in here if I want to add a headband, I can. If I want to add a flower, um, I can add earrings, all sorts of things. It's just kind of your personal preference. And if you have a hard time with different hairstyles, because I know that uh, I drew a girl hairstyle and some of you boys might be lost as what to do, um, just let me know and I will try and guide you the best way I can to help you out. And hopefully... This has helped you guys out, and if you have any questions, just let me know.